Hey guys, thanks for coming back and watching the Harma channel. Today we'll be talking about forecasting and how do you forecast next few years or next six months based on the project you have coming on. If you're flipping the property, it's very important to understand this. I am not a financial advisor. I am not going to take responsibilities for this video and you can tell me you told me to do that. All I can tell you, these are the things I look at for and I hope it will be helpful. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. If you're interested to learn more about real estate or how to flip a property, this channel can help you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. So let's just dive in and talk about forecasting. One of the first things that you should know is about interest rate. But how do you track that? How do you know they stay low or they will go up? There is usually correlation between U.S. Treasury bonds and real estate interest rate. The yield of U.S. Treasury bond usually goes down and interest rate goes down. When they go up, interest rate goes up. The reason interest rate goes up because banks, they realize since bonds went up, they can actually charge more for interest rate. So that can affect the market. It's not about what's the interest rate today. If you have a project that is coming up in 12 months, you may wanna pay attention how long the bond has been low and what's the prediction on that. If the prediction on that is right and it's gonna go up, then it's likely interest rate was gonna go up. On Yahoo Finance, you can just keep track of that and you can keep watching that daily so you can stay educated on that. The next item is market saturation. What's in the market today and how many months of supplies do we have? compared to last year's same time. If inventory is increasing and nothing is going in escrow, it's gonna take us longer to sell the properties. So if you're going to sell the property in nine months, how many more months of listings do we have right now? That's going to affect, because you won't be the only one in the market and you won't be the only one the buyers will be looking at. The next thing you wanna focus on, recession. No one has a crystal ball on that, but you wanna pay attention to economists out there and what they say. There's a lot of websites such as Bloomberg and many other ones that they have a great data on consumer spending. Pay attention to that. Also, there's two other websites, CAR, which is California Association of Realtors, and National Association of Realtors. It's important to take a look often, actually. They're economists. For last maybe nine years, they've been really on a target. When they predict that we're going to be have a recession, they usually come up with the data for the following year. Pay attention to those websites and follow those. It will help you to understand. When 2006 happened, a lot of real estate offices were doing so well and they never thought we will go through a recession. I was actually busy doing really well. I was number one team in Studio City, Keller Williams. I did 740,000 in gross commission income. At the same time, I was focusing on getting foreclosures. And people, my agents in my office were laughing at me. It's like, you're crazy. There will be no foreclosures. And yet I got Countrywide, Bank of America, IndyMac, and I got lots of foreclosures. And no one thought in 2007, it will be the crash we had. Very important to watch the data. Another thing is called NODs, which is Notice of Defaults. You can pull the data from your title company or your real estate agent and look at the NODs in a zip code that you're going to invest or you want to buy. NODs of every year will increase when the market is going down or we're going to have a recession. If so many people are not able to pay their mortgages, it is likely we're going to have a correction. Right now in 2021, January, if you look at one zip code in the Valley of or Los Angeles, you will see much more NODs and NOTs, which is Notice of the Trustee, than last year. What does that mean? We're expecting a correction. I can't tell when, but we are going to have some kind of correction very soon. And the lastly, you should focus on the market cycle. We know in the United States, every 40 years, we have a major recession. And then every 10 years, we have a correction. The real estate market cannot just be straight graph going 45 degrees up, eventually levels up. If you just look at the last 40, 50, 100 years, you will see what goes up comes back down. So follow the graph and make sure you're not on the top. If you choose to buy, you don't want to miss the bottom. So you want to pay attention to that and good luck. Just a recap, forecasting, it's not something you should rely on just on yourself. You have to collect data and come up with your own conclusion. And of course, you can have a crystal ball. We might have the wrong forecast, but it's better to think about it, analyze it, than be sorry. Read every intelligent person, no matter what business you're in. You have to spend 30 minutes a day just to read about the industry you are in. The question for today is, real estate or stock? Which one would you prefer to invest in? Make sure you leave that in the comment. Thank you for watching this video. I wanna know what other topics you would like me to make video on. Feel free to leave those in a comment. 
and don't forget to subscribe.